Well, Oxfam's had a, a, a trading business for about 30 years now. It's gone through different stages. It's focused on both retail, having shops, having uh, direct operations. Uh, increasing proportion of our sales come over the web. But in the last year or so, we've really developed our wholesale arm, getting commodities, fair-traded coffee, tea and spreads into the major supermarket chains and to the corporate, uh, corporate area as well. It's... The dollars are really important. We, uh, we make uh, sales of something like about $12 million each year, and that's, that's growing. Uh, but it's, the, the benefits of the, our trading arm are many. Most importantly, they help support producer partners right throughout the developing world. They're the people who make or grow or design and develop the goods that we sell in our shops and on, on, on our direct sales operation or through our wholesale. Uh, we, that's about two to three million dollars every year is going to those those local groups, those producer partners, individuals, artisans, and growers. Uh, so that's, the dollars, the sales are very important. But our trading operation helps us in a whole range of other ways. It helps in terms of our profile. It helps give people, give ordinary Australians, an opportunity for them to live out ethical, consu ethical consumerism. Help give them an opportunity to pick up some good quality goods as well. Christmas is an extraordinarily important time for Oxfam's trading operations. It's a time when we sell a lot of our goods, uh, particularly our, uh, our, our giftware, the things which are going to be suitable for presents, for people who are looking for something different to give to their, their family and friends. Uh, something different, but something of real value and of good quality. Uh, so most of our sales are in the, the crunch months of October, November, December. But one of the things that's been really important in the last couple of years is that we've spread that a bit more. It's both the sales that happen in the shops, uh, we're getting at other times of the year, but also for our wholesale operations, we've fair traded tea, fair traded coffee and spreads. We've got, that's a year in, month in, month out uh, operation. And that's uh, helping spread the risk for us and uh, making an even greater impact. Christmas is a time for, for giving gifts, and that's what we're selling at the moment. Uh, there's a real push, a real uh, drive to sell the, some of the recycled goods, uh, goods which have been made by artisans out of uh, old bits of plastic or uh, bike chains and the like. But you can't go past the chocolate, uh, and chocolate is a big seller. And I've got to say, uh, the fair trade chocolate, the Oxfam Fair brand, is real high quality stuff. Extraordinarily tempting, does nothing for my cholesterol levels, nothing for my waistline, but is really tempting. The Oxfam Fair brand is a new initiative from Oxfam. It's, it's us wholesaling fair trade tea, coffee and spreads into the major supermarket chains. It's fair trade coffee, fair trade tea, fair trade chocolate, fair trade spreads. Uh, the goods being sourced from developing countries, countries like uh, Ethiopia, East Timor and the like, high quality uh, and it means giving people the opportunity to buy good quality products in their supermarket uh, helping to people in developing countries. So they can go to their Woolworths, can go to their Coles, go to their uh, IGAs and get, get good quality coffee. Uh, it tastes good uh, and it does good at the same time. We've got something like 150 staff working for Oxfam Trading, but uh, we've also got more and more people helping through volunteering. Some of the people who are helping us here today in our warehouse in Adelaide are from Origin Energy. Uh, they're, they're volunteering for the day, they'll be doing packing, they'll be uh, helping meet some of the orders which are coming through online or from our shops. Uh, and that sort of volunteer support from corporates, from, from companies, is something which has really helped make, uh, help Oxfam make a great difference. It's helping us uh, reduce our costs, but it's also giving those, uh, uh, helping develop a much closer relationship between major companies and a, a major non-government organisation like Oxfam. Well, our website is becoming more and more important. More and more people are buying online uh, and it's probably the most important single chain, uh, well, single, single channel for our, for our retail operation, uh, even more important than our best-selling shop. Uh, so we're seeing people going online, buying their goods uh, and expecting to get it back pretty quickly and hopefully we're, we're meeting their expectations. 
Christmas cards are one of the things that we sell at this time of the year. Uh, and you know, last year we had the Prime Minister buy quite a stack of cards and uh, she used them and got them out to uh, many of her supporters and, and friends and contacts. Uh, Christmas cards have still, still got a place uh, and it's part of the reason why Christmas is such an important time for Oxfam trading. There's no doubting it's a very difficult retail environment and that affects Oxfam as much as it affects any other person, any other company out in the, in, in the market. But we are seeing a real spike in sales as we get closer and closer to Christmas. We hope that will continue, but we would also encourage people to not just think about Christmas. The, the goods that Oxfam sell are appropriate any time of the year from January through to December. And so we'd encourage people to visit our shops, go online uh, and help make a difference and get a good, good quality goods at the same time.